Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Scourge League 3.16. In this episode, we're going to be going over this new uh, Reaper build for 3.16 with all these new masteries and no awakened gems, and it's actually insane damage. It's almost half of the damage of the really expensive build from 3.15. So I won't be going the Reaper at the beginning. I won't be league starting it. I won't be doing it as a budget build. Uh, this is a public service announcement that I won't be playing this. But I got a lot of requests, as I'll show you here. Uh, would you be able to do a Reaper build? This is why I'm releasing this video. It's because of you guys. Uh, Killer B, um, Landon, plan planning to play Reaper. Add a Reaper since it's bleed. Jet Black Threat. Uh, Soul Eater wants to see Reaper. Um, Atch, Reaper POB, Wen, uh, Phil, Reaper, uh, Bubble, Reaper, Jet, Reaper, dude, come on, uh, he, he, this guy, Reaper, I told him I'm updating, I already have it all made, so that's why, for you guys, I made this, uh, Reaper build, so I want to start it off at the beginning, showing you how good this is compared to the old one, so the old one was the Awakened Gems, crazy bow our reaper is level 35 it's absolutely insane it's end game it has all these uniques with ascendance victorios malonies mechanism headhunter D disgusting build it has uh cluster jewels and timeless jewel now i show you the new one and this is 18 million the new one is 7.6 so about half it's a little bit less than half no cluster jewels no timeless jewel no awakened gems um no crazy bow you switch to an offhand bow to use the ensnaring arrow for bosses. It's not that bad. And uh, this is absolutely insane. So now I'm going to show you my 315 Reaper build that I made uh, with the 18 million DPS against Oshabi uh, to show you how fast 18 million can kill such a high health boss in one hit. And then, uh, uh, so then when you know how much 17 does, you can scale it to 7 million and know how, how fast you would kill Oshabi with this build. Oshabi! Uh, so we're going to put down this, and I'm going to mark her instantly, and slash. And let's see if I can one-shot her. Well, I phased, I don't know. Oh, I broke the cage instantly. Um, so I've summoned the guy, I've marked her. She's literally dying, she just got phased instantly. Uh, if she phases, this thing is so slow. Um, let's do this, and mark. She's dead. That, that's base. It, it was base. Yeah, so then to uh, analyze that for you, just in case, is uh, if if this is about 40% of the damage, if we kill Oshabi in like 5 seconds, pretty pretty fast instant kill, right? Um, then it would take, let's say, maybe 12 seconds with this build compared to the really expensive one. And so you take the really expensive one, you spend a lot less, and you kill only twice as slow. That's not that bad, right? That's really good for what, for what it is. Um... This is pretty sick. I think that's really strong, and uh, that's a really good example for how solid or strong Reaper is with with this investment and this specific gear choice and upgrades I made um, compared to the end game. How I guess there's some inefficiencies where it's like not great scaling. Oh, I, oh, we also have the new Awakened Gems buffs too. The Awakened Brutality buff, the Awakened Melee Fizz buff, the Awakened Minion Damage with the extra level. We get the Intimidate and the Crush. Oh my god. Uh, this next clip, to not confuse you, I want to explain that I accidentally recorded the whole next part without having this flask on. So this flask um, is important. I noticed it in my old one, and I forgot to put it in the new one. But basically, it adds 2.4 million damage on POB, and it's to um, account for a patch they did. So there was a minion bleed patch where they said, lowered the damage penalty on bleeding for the Summon Reaper. Overall, this means that they have approximately 114% more damage, uh, bleeding damage than before. So uh, minion, minions deal 100% more damage with bleeding. Uh, this should cover that. And uh, I have it in both builds, so it's consistent at least. And uh, and that's part of the part of the scaling. So then that at least explains why it will, will show lower damage, like 5.2 in the next clip. Uh, as I talk through uh, all of the gear, the skills, the, the tree, the jewels, and the flats. Thank you. Alright, let's get into this Reaper uh, POB. So, uh, for the skills, I want the Reaper, no Awakened Gems, 
I went the melee fizz, brutality, minion damage, pulverize, and then we only went in power three, no in power four. It's a level twenty one uh, reaper, and then um, carry on golem, feeding frenzy, mame with a val summon skelly. The mame is twenty one, a uh, twenty one carry on golem, uh, pride, malevolence, skitterbots with an enlightened three for the mana reserve because uh, we need to have a pretty high mana pool for reaper. That's very annoying, by the way. Uh, so this isn't that good of a league starter because it requires like in, enlighten and power uh it, it has some requirements of items like uniques and stuff to be very powerful i think it's not great as a league starter but uh, is pretty good with some investment war banner generosity uh i even was able to fit in a cast on death portal for the league start for mapping when you're pushing uh those val maps and you're getting corruptions that uh get really bad mods and they're rippy it saves you time walking through your map uh walk of shame vulnerability uh in a ring this is profane proxy you could cast this manually if you don't have the profane proxy but it's so nice to have it automated through the profane proxy and the extra chance to bleed is really good for reaper um then i did arcanius brand desecrate flesh offering in the weapon uh cast wind damage taken a mortal call level one three uh to have a mortal call and then flame dash and then a val haste in the ring just for val haste i leveled it only to seven so that it has uh, a lower dex requirement and then uh we went so yeah no awaken gems and uh to use the ensnaring arrow it doesn't have to be a six link by the way this could be a four link a five link it doesn't have to be a six link and then you would switch to your offhand bow and you could have a quiver too but basically the bow and then the bow uh it doesn't have to have minion damage but you can shoot your ensnaring arrow and it'll have the mirage archer gmp faster attacks so those are the four you really want and then the ensnaring arrow will mark the enemy so that they're always moving so they take triple damage from the bleed uh this is really good for the bossing part of the build uh, i think for the rest you won't really need it for mapping but on bosses you'll really appreciate triple damage it's worth sw uh switching to the offhand and shooting the ensnaring arrow and then yes yeah, so we were able to do cold iron points because we're a reaper build so we get the six extra levels on the reaper uh i went on the helmet you can go so i, sh I show a lot of different versions of items so i'll start with the bone helmet i show two bases there's the reaper enchant for the helmet with reaper 20 fizz multi over over time so uh fizz dot multi uh 20 percent and then you also have the elder helmet 85 where you roll the in uh the mod nearby enemies take nine percent increased physical damage and so if we go back to the beginning um this enchant is similar to the mod elder helmet but i think that the enchant's easier cheaper and more damage so i would go for the reaper enchant as the main priority uh as an upgrade you can also do it on a bone helmet so it's even more damage as just the base and then you can craft this still so it could have life and reses and where the other one you had to craft the nearby enemies take nine percent increased physical damage on an elder helmet so that trying to get the other mods you want is harder um so the enchant's easier this is just like the skeleton build where the enchant for carry on golem was really good the carry on golem buff effect and then I show that you can take this one step further, um, combine it. You get an Elder Bone Helmet, item level 85, with the Reaper Enchant, and then you craft it for the nearby enemies take 9% increased physical damage. Uh, that's the scaling on that. Um, for the chest plate, I show you, you can go for a Corrupted chest plate with plus one socketed gems. Uh, you could also go, obviously, the Shaper chest plate or the Warlord chest plate with one active, uh, plus one active skill gems, but it's not as good because you want the plus one to the Empower as well um and then glove normal just life reses boot life reses move speed ami uh you can get a plus two uh technically obviously just one uh so i did it i broke it down for this one too the ami could be a hunter ami for plus one intelligence a warlord ami for plus one physical that's both item level 82 you could warlord uh i mean uh awakeners orbit together and combine it warlords hunter uh ami you can then craft an endurance charge and you can anoint charisma uh this is pretty expensive but the mana reserve is actually important so like i said this build's not very cheap but it's a lot cheaper than my than my old build uh my my build from last season so very good 
And then uh, Profane Proxy for the Vulnerability Curse Automation. Uh, unset Ring with Life and Reses and Endurance Charge. Endurance Charges are from the June Unveiling. And then Darkness and Throne with some nice Ghastly Jewels. And it's just Life, Damage, and Attack Speed. Uh, and for Floss I went Bubbling Life with Bleed. Quartz Floss with Ignite. Granite Floss with Shock. Uh, Eternal Mana Floss with Chill and and uh, Enduring. I went Enduring Mana in this build, so we have nice mana through the whole time. And then a Quicksilver for move speed and duration. They also buffed the Quicksilver in the new season, where we can take it to higher numbers. Um, and then for the skill tree, uh, I took Resolute Technique. I need to mention this one specifically, because it, we use the Ensnaring Arrow, and on the Ensnaring Arrow, against like Cyrus we'll have 54% accuracy but w then we take resolute technique and we may not be able to crit but then w we don't ever miss so it's really good for the ensnaring arrow and um the other thing is uh I took this wheel of tireless for the reduced cost of skills and I took righteous decree for reduced mana cost of skills and increased mana and that's been really helpful for helping my mana pool and lowering the mana cost of the reaper and then the cost of the ensnaring arrow is also cheap uh, it's really sick, and I also pathed Ravenous Horde in this build. It's one Reaper with a 30% chance to get Onslaught on kill. That's pretty sick, and the move speed's not bad. And uh, it was just because I had all the extra points from the pathing, because we don't have to get, like, Death Attunement, because we're not Spectres, Skelly, Zombie, you know? Uh, we do run Skelly, but I don't I don't run the Death Attunement. And uh, I'm really happy with this, with this setup. Uh, yeah, this is really cheap compared to... The old setup, where I had to have a really expensive bow, and uh, to get a third of the damage with this little investment comparison, like no awaken gems, uh, we have the not no crazy bow, no Melanies, no Ascenets, so we don't have the Ascenets clear. Um, th this is pretty crazy what we were able to able to get done, and also oh yeah, I forgot this doesn't actually include the f the patch. The patch note for the iron, uh, for the bandits, two passive points, just kill the bandits, easy. And, uh, Solaris and Grothkull for Pantheons. And then, <laughs> if you're gonna do Blight, I don't, I don't recommend Blight with the Reaper. I can do it, I did, I did Blight with the Reaper. Um, uh, it's just not very great, because it's a one minion, and it's hard to clear a full screen of, uh, pumps and li lines, and so I do Grothkull for the physical damage reduction. Pretty sick. Uh, so Solaris, Grothkull. Those are my pantheons and my and then my bandits kill them all. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this filled in that the, the void, the gap that people wanted. They now they know how good the Reaper looks in 3.16 with with as with a minimal investment, not spending as much as I did in the previous season with all the awakened gems and the uh, big bow and everything. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this was exactly what you were looking forward to. If I if if you did if this was exactly what you wanted uh, and you've made it to this part in the video, hey, hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit hit 100 likes. Thank you so much. And uh, now I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon, my YouTube members who financially support the channel. I can't do this without you guys. So thank you guys for all the support and thank you to anyone who joins the Patreon, the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.